Hold up, brothers and sisters. Hold up. Hold up. I'd like to welcome you on behalf of my partners, Bruce and Terry and myself. For y'all coming out here to see Dr. Benjamin and for him to share a few words. I'd like to say this one thing about Dr. Benjamin. A lot of the way I think about this actually comes from Dr. Benjamin, the trip to Egypt with him and seeing the stuff myself. And by me and him going back and forth in little debates, <laughs> back and forth, he has shaped a lot of my thinking and stuff like that, how I think about things and how I ask people for a different, when you ask for proof for something that they're saying that you can actually point to, rather than some mystery that you can't point to. A lot of that comes from Dr. Ben because things that I would say to him, he would ask for the proof. Then that means he had to go back and read and stuff like that. Absence of the proof, it fell by itself. Yes, man. So <coughs> I'd like to present to y'all Dr. Ben, and I'd like y'all give him a warm round.
at this time, uh, so that I uh, had difficulty in Canada, but I understand why. And the difficulty is similar to the difficulty here, but that was much worse up there. To speak of Egypt, and I going to say Tamari, I make this clear. In the Medunetra writing, there is one reference to the land we're talking about, and there's a Kimit. It's, if you want to pronounce it, that's your own business. <laughs> but all there is about the land is K-M-T. Nobody I know, and with all of them who say they're speaking Melanetta, they're talking nonsense. Nobody knows to speak Melanetta because it's written in constant. Anytime you see, like Kimmel, you've got vowels, and the ancient didn't write with vowels. It's the English put vowels for themselves to make it uh, legible for, for those to speak about it. So I don't try to invent so that we'll hear some people say, I don't speak Melanesia or I don't know Melanesia. That's all right. I prefer not to do it than to lie about it. And most people lie about it. So when you use the word Kimmel, you're a liar. Mm. Mm. Your mother's a liar. Your family's a liar. You're just saying that to say something without any justification. And, and, and that's what I said. When you have to have a historical foundation for speaking about Africa, not dreams, not talking to the gods, by the way, if you talk to the gods, you must talk to the goddess. Because mm. the god was Ra, and the goddess was Nut. There were the two first gods of ancient Egypt. So, when you need to speak about Egypt, if you're taking it from the earliest position, would be a re religious position. Not religious as, as you say religion today, because in ancient Egypt, they did not mix the men with the women in uh, religious ceremony. The women had their own thing, but there were times, for instance, like occasion of birth, like when uh, uh, Aset gave birth to Heru for Asar. That's like your Mary, Jesus, and Joseph. But they didn't play around with the virgin birth. Their virgin birth was a man having relations with the other. They stole an abyss. That's the farthest point west. So when you go to Egypt and you're in Luxor, it takes you three hours by bus to go from Luxor to Abydos. That's where Asaru is allegedly buried. Here, where he was allegedly born. I say allegedly because it's belief. They themselves had a belief system. And I want you to make it clear. No man could show you where God lived, where God is, and where God been. And which God you talking about? Uncle Uncle? In Guy? Uh, I know you, you're quite familiar with those gods. I could talk about 30 different gods in Africa. I use them the word that the Greeks gave us. All right. So that any time you tell me what, you not being religious, I ask you why? And who knows what it is to be religious? 
Now you said that religion is negative, so you're going to use um, this thing that they call it. Uh, it's a move to religion, but you said uh, we call religion. Fear and religion. Thank you, You see, I'm my mind doesn't <laughs> what you say. When you speak, say you spiritual, you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> if you just feel as religious as you want to, and you use another way to escape, to, instead of saying a thing is a thing. For instance, you say you believe in a goddess, but you never, never call on the goddess. You always call on God. And women surprises me. You see a pregnant woman. She's giving birth to a baby. She said, oh God, oh God help me. Oh God. He don't help you. Put it in there. <laughs> you don't say, oh goddess. And the goddess knows your problem because the goddess also get pregnant. And she don't get it by a virgin birth. Because Asaru had his son, Heru, with his wife, Aset, or As. You see that in the wall in Abydos. Not and brick. There were no brick yet. So when we start with housing, the first housing made by the ancient Egyptian that is still there was the step pyramid at Saqqara. Now, Saqqara was not the first place in ancient Egypt. The first place was Mem Nefa, which you call Memphis. Memphis, Tennessee is named for Mem Nefa. I'm not spelled M-E-N as most of you spell because there is no vowel. Memnepa was M-N, not no other word letter in, in there. And Nepa was N-F-R, no E's. E is a vowel. And the, 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 the Egyptian language is written in uh, constant only. So they weren't not. The British, when they came as conquerors over that land, they uh, put the vowels, all kind of vowels, in different words to make sounds. So when you hear people talking nonsense that they're reading made in nature, they're lying to themselves. They like to lie. <laughs> So we go move a step further. That became the first construction, and it was built of the rocks. The ancient people cut rocks. They planned the building, and they cut the rocks to suit the shape of the building. Just for instance, if the building have a touch the 32 degree and what, that was a common angle. Uh, they would cut certain stone to fit and 32 degrees. They didn't just fit, put it and put mortar, they were no mortar. They did not, it was for years and years and years before mortar was made by the people of uh, Rome. They were the first to pre present mortar. And, 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 and uh, they came not long after the Greeks and so So that gives you an idea. They weren't in the picture at all at the time when the Egyptians uh, were uh, acting. And um, let, let me make it clear. When I said the Egyptians were black, mm -hmm. I mean black. <laughs> <laughs> because they had no family that was not less but black. Mm -hmm. So that when you saw people in a room, you saw black people. 
So if you're not black, if you had a father from Asia who wasn't black, from Europe who wasn't black, and you look let yellow, you look anything lighter than me, you're not black. So very, that's why you hear black studies, this black this, black, you're lying. How are you going to be black without an European and a black girl? Huh? We, as a people, cannot speak about being black. Let me explain. Just today, I told someone that he cannot speak. He was speaking and saying, and he's from Jamaica, and he was saying that we all look alike. Yeah. It isn't true. We have all had Europeans so much in our family, and we try as much to imitate the Europeans as much as we can. In here right now, you got more bought head than anything else. You bought more hair to add what you natural hair to look long. You're afraid and ashamed of being black. We don't want to admit it, we, but none of you are going to wash your hair because you can't live here. You look too black if you wash your hair. But being men now too, men are walking around with the same pieces of hair. <laughs> We look like a faggot, look like a stranger. And I gotta talk to you with honesty. It may hurt you, but that's what I intended to do. Hurt you. <laughs> I don't pretend. So when we go from the step pyramid, the most important pyramid that tell us anything about Egypt was the finished period of Unas. And that's on the opposite side of where the uh, period designed by Imhotep for the Pharaoh Zuza is. Right up the wall, you go and you look down and you see the smallest pyramid in the whole world. That pyramid has the first writing that speak about the ancient gods and goddesses, the deities. But the ancient people understand when they speak of the gods and goddesses, they spoke of gods being themselves and, the, and goddess being themselves. Because man in that time reached a height in society which is called the gods. A person rose to the rank of a god, who rose to the rank of a goddess. So that they weren't uh, jiving with when they say such uh, a a person of God. For instance, Ramesses the second was a human being, but he that Sakara in one of the tomb uh, as a, one of the gods. Rakurakti is a god there, and uh, Rak is a god, and, uh, and Re Rakti, and Ramesses, there are four gods shown, and one we know was a living person, Ramesses II. But besides this thing, we have to understand, and we must understand, because if we want to be truthful to, uh, uh, to ourselves, it's going to be difficult to take away our own personality and deal with the things as stated. And we don't have to pretend it like long ago. Yes, it's in a book. And you must get the facts from a book. You can't get it from my head. I must get it from a book and tell you. If I tell you something 
And I can't show you in a book or refer what book you must go to. I'm a liar. And you got nothing but liars around. You could dress all you want. Put on our different clothes. By the way, this African clothes, this one Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> because only certain styles you understand as African. We, uh, most of you take things from West Africa. You don't take things from North Africa. I don't see any design of anything you wear from North Africa. You may take some things from Egypt, and lately you take things from Kenya, uh, you, but uh, don't, as a rule, take nothing from the Nile Valley. Uh, that's from Ethiopia, and that is uh, 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 Aksum. Aksum is the proper name for Ethiopia. Ethiopia is a Greek word, <coughs> meaning black face, mm -hmm. people of black face. Abyssinia is a disgusting term. The Arab use that term to the people of, of, of uh, Aksum. So that is not used. It's your Aksum. And then you have the Kushite. Mm -hmm. That comes from the Bible. They, uh, they break nonsense. They, it was in the 18th dynasty when they first speak of Abraham and Adam and Eve and all that nonsense. The, Africans of Egypt were already in the 18th dynasty when the Hebrews, the Haribo, Haribo, or Haribo as they call in history, arrived there with the Hyksos. The Hyksos were a group of people like, like most of us here. The, the museum got their pictures and everything. You see the Hyksos with the ear, uh, kinky hair and whatnot. Uh, so that we have, no, we have no doubt who they are. But what it is I'm going to go back, we have to go to Maneto. And back as far as Maneto and before to find ancient history with respect to Egypt. There is no history book on Egypt older written man to man, and before Manetho, and then he said, read in this book. Any book dealing with men and women, two other men and women, that's not religious, Manetho wrote the first one of those books. That time I'm speaking, there is no Greece yet. There is no uh, Rome yet. Those people must have been living, I don't know, and don't care. <laughs> but there's no history of them, any place. Athens won't build because Sistrasus, the Tsar, is going to be the one that built Athens. And we must understand, I'm speaking in terms, how do I know this? Can I dream this? No. Can I just like to, it because it's so good? No. Do I know anybody who tell me any history of Egypt's chart of a book? No. Because I don't want to hear no damn nonsense about the person telling me what the angels say this and the that said this and that. That's nonsense. Our history were written, our history that means anything. I'm not saying that because it was written, it had to be right. But at least we got the reference of the person who wrote the thing, and we can check it, what he said. Uh, and it's better than talking about God said this and God said that. God didn't say a damn thing in his life. You said it. <laughs> so when you talk about the Bible, they're written by holy men. Who make them holy? <laughs> See? Who make them holy? The, 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 
King James for instance, he wanted, he got an argument with the Pope. And at that time, the biblical book used to come from Switzerland to England, written in English. They weren't written in English in England. They came from Switzerland. And James then said he wanted a book of his own, not what the Pope thinks about. And they commissioned 47 men mm -hmm. in England, Scotland, and different places like that. <coughs> and they wrote different aspects of the Bible to suit James. Mm -hmm. James was satisfied with a certain amount of it by, 19, by 1641, 1621. And that book we call the King James Bible. James was a murderer. He killed his two wives and then killed his mother for disagreeing with his action. You can read that. You don't have to listen to my word. You can read it. You need to take a book like the Moors in Spain. You need to take Manetta's work. You take uh, various writers. H. Sylvester uh, Williams, uh, uh, that's a uh, uh, late one. Uh, but you take those ancient books. Uh, uh, a man from Africa wrote a very good book he wrote in the in the <coughs> 17th century. It's um, something of uh, something. Of North Africa. Uh, uh, he was Agri, Agri from uh, uh, Guinea. Uh, he wrote uh, of the period of time. So what I want to bring in, how do we get information about the past? You got books of a nature in Medunita. There is nine form of Medonature. Medonature is written in nine different ways. And one of those forms, at least, you should make yourself familiar with the rudiments <coughs> of language uh, so that you could use it. There is no way that you can take any book, however, and read through. That's why when people go to Egypt and looking for Melissa, you cannot read everything and in, 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 the, in the palaces because you start to read and find here the thing change. Then you read a little more from there, it's over there, it's changed. Because the, the writers purposely put things there because they were information they want you to know and information they want to keep secret. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the greatest thing that the ancient, one of the greatest things the ancients devised was the pyramid at uh, Giza. Giza is written G <coughs> H I Z now we have <coughs> D, E, H, I, E, Z, A, O, G, I, Z, A. The G, I, Z, A is the Arab writing. And they came to Egypt in 470. Uh, and Islam started in 6. Uh, they come uh, in 6. <coughs> Islam started in 622 of the Christian era, which is, and you, uh, uh, you, you know the difference between the Hebrew and the Christians and the Muslims, the difference in calendar. <coughs> we must make sure that we understand the different dates because
people, uh, uh, things are written to suit the writers, who for the most part was biased <coughs> because they wrote strictly from their position and they didn't take into account uh, anything because writers, for instance, <coughs> today, most writers write about ancient Egypt and Libos, Libya, or uh, 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 what you call Morocco, that was uh, uh, the, 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 um, the, the, the Morocco was uh, a French name, uh, Arab name and a French name. Uh, they were the fighters who had take uh, Spain in, uh, the, the, in 711. Uh, they had take, 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 take Spain and uh, uh, an African Gibel <coughs> uh, uh was the name of the African that uh, they used to call him Smart John. And uh, Gibel Tariq had carried into Spain uh, much of the writings <coughs> that he had learned from his mother. His mother was the one who was in charge of the country. There isn't much said about her by men, <coughs> because stupid men who just hate women and can't speak right about them, right. ignore them, or tell willful lies about them rather than tell the truth. And that got to stop. Uh, women, uh, no doubt, I know this very well, different to men. I am happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> but that is no reason not to give them their due. Because in ancient Egypt, when Egypt was two places, northern and southern Egypt, were two different countries. Until the first dynasty, that when Norma of the South, you could call it you call it, if you call it Nama, N-A-R-M-E-R, -E that's since the British get into the you got to eat. But Mena or Aha, you could write A-H-A or M-N-A or M-E. <coughs> the E-R was, you know, what, what uh, the British. Uh, you, you got, when Mena for Scorpion, the, the animal, the fight, the people were asking for United Egypt and encouraged the fighters until that one day these men de met to decide bringing unifying Egypt. And thus Mena and Scorpion met at Menefa. <coughs> Menefa you could translate it, 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 it to mean the White House. It was a building, and the literary translation would be White House. They met there and fought, and Mena killed uh, Scott. <coughs> now, right there, we speak about Egypt or, or any place as if we didn't come it wrong. We commit murder. <laughs> we stole. There is a sign in every one of the palaces and everything talking about stealing. We were stealing before others come. We are. You see, people got a, a mythical idea of, that of their people. They were not stealing ancient Egypt. <laughs> Who the hell did it? <laughs> they were no European there. So somebody was stealing, so it had to be. Mm. Yours true. <laughs> we have to deal with things and remember. The Egyptians were people like others. That's why you got a set of laws. Forty-two laws. Number twenty-seven. I remember it as just it. I said, 
as that is my act. I have not committed sodomy. And you sodomy, that means a man going with a man. And there's only one place a man could go with a man. And that's his rectum. And to justify that, you're telling me that a man is going with a man. He's going to put his penis in and in a man, and I said, felt. I don't know with Allah will to explain this by, by those words. I don't use dirty words. I use words that explain the thing, however. 